Good morning. Uh, hold on. Good morning. It's like 8, 10 right now. Um, I have a shipment of packages coming in, or not packages, uh, equipment, right? The hammer shining stuff today, so I have to get up and go over the warehouse. I'm like, tired all the time. Is anyone else just tired all the time? I could get five hours of sleep, eight hours of sleep, or like 12 hours of sleep. It doesn't matter. I'm always tired. The older you get, the more you just want to sleep all the time. Before we get to the warehouse, I need to pick up some necessities for the gym. Yeah! If you guys have not had the grilled cheese ones of these, you're missing out because these are delicious! Yeah! I tell you, getting all these snacks makes me feel like just like a, a, a mom about to go to soccer practice. Picking up all the snacks for the kids. Where's the orange slices? Whoa! Candy update. You guys know me, this is actually one of my longtime favorite candies, but they change the packaging. Now it says extra sour. Did the last one say extra sour? Are these better? Uh, uh, we gotta get them. So I'm gonna pick up some Halloween candy to have in the office. And now, the great thing about Halloween candy is that it's all pre-packaged, which is great because everyone tracks their macros. If they need a little extra carbs or a little sweets, you can easily track a pre-packaged thing, which is great. But you know what I've never understood? Is how Halloween candy is always like, ooh, fun size. They're fun. Si There's nothing fun about getting two Starburst or six Skittles in a bag. That's not fun. So, one thing that I forget about YouTube is that unless I clarify every single thing I do, people start making assumptions, right? Which you can't always do. Just know that your boy Maxi has a good head on his shoulder guy, right? Um, in the last video when I went to the bank, people were like, Max, did you leave Flex in the car with the windows up? Of course not, guys. When I went to the bank, I put him on the roof so then he could have some fresh air. <laughs> no, he was at the gym. Relax. All right, so as you guys know, I donate a portion of Ever Forward Profits to ALS Association. That is my charity of choice. Um, this donation was $2,500 which I want to thank you guys for support of the brand and the company and the message and allowing each donation to be bigger and bigger. So um, we have some cool things coming up towards the end of the year in terms of charity and just ways to give back. Uh, I want to involve a lot of you guys in some stuff that I have planned. So it'd be very, very cool. But now we are just waiting for the equipment to get here. Window of between eight and four. It'll probably come at 3.58. So I just got back from Home Depot, and I pulled up. Pulled up in the roof gone. Is that the lyrics? Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, hold on. It's heavy on that side, but it's a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Might be the most stressful thing to watch ever. Can we help you somewhere without dying? Can you guys just grab that pallet? Grab the pallet? Yeah, hold it. Uh, just like that, buddy. Turn it as I turn. Stick my pallet. Okay. 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 Uh, you got a little sketchy for a second. So I don't know how well you guys could see in that video. I think I zoomed in a little bit, but it got so sketchy on the edge because there's so much weight on the end of the pallet. I literally was like, this, these hammer strength machines are about to fall off this truck. <laughs> it would have been cool for the YouTube clip, right? But not for us. It wouldn't have been fun at all for anyone. All right, guys, so. Oh, the metal's bent. I'm just kidding, get it? Because the metal's supposed to be bent. So what we're gonna have to do is take, you know, Brian's on his way over here with Chick-fil-A. Last time we got equipment, we had Chick-fil-A, and then we had to wait. But if you can see in here, we have a ISO lateral incline press. Which is yellow. He said that there's 
blue underneath. I don't know. Anyway, and then we also have the isolateral row somewhere down in there. Take this apart. We're probably gonna take, a take our time. Once Brian gets here, we're gonna get some lunch, Chick Fil A, because we have to eat our our nutrients. And then it's leg day, so we can't use this today. Well, they're gonna use it today. It's not leg day for you, right? No, it's never leg day. Never for leg day. For you. Oh my God, so sexy. Here's your brand new car. Oh. Oh yeah. Sick new 89 cent screwdriver, guys. I'm so handy, I can unscrew screws and stuff. All right, so we have the ISO in. We just have to take apart the seat. It's right there. Wait, it's like uh, it's like Peter's Pokemon team that no one wants to be on, right? What is it? What's the yellow? I don't, instinct. No one plays anymore, so it doesn't matter. Woo! Yep. Easy insertion. I'm just Pivot! <laughs> I thought you'd go the other, other way. way. Wait, you what? You go that way, Peter. Yeah, so I can go first. You got it, Peter, come on, dude! Am I Ash catching right now? Yeah. Okay. I think I should be scooted out like a little bit. It's two v one right now, so I can't tell. <laughs> well, I'm gonna I'm gonna act like I was tightening this bolt before I start. Okay, it's tight. Okay. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to grow too much right now, so I don't want to do too many reps, but. Pretty cool. One thing we're thinking about is because although we want to make sure we have a bench press in a location where it's not directly above a light, uh, we also, for like filming purposes, because we all do filming, the bench press so you can get a lot of different angles, we might put like this row over there and then have the bench out here. But we're not really sure. We did get an update on the bench press. Uh, they said it's going into um, sandblasting and painting. It's finished being built right now. I said that we should be able to ship it out at the end of next week. So it's still going to be another like three weeks, but it's whatever. So I just installed this. Let's see if it works. All right, so a couple things. One, apparently I either ordered the wrong ones or they sent the wrong ones because those are like yellowy. Those are called clear. Those are 4,000K clear. And these ones are supposed to be 5,000K daylight, so I don't know if I messed up or they messed up. But, I mean, it's good we have more lights. It's good that I'm apparently kind of an electrician. Not really, but slowly but surely, we're getting more lit in this place every single day. So unfortunately, even though we got the brand new pull and push machines, it is leg day today. Johnny and I are doing legs. 415 pounds for triples. Or at least that's the goal. One thing about Flex is he's turning more into a puppy. He's getting like happier every day. Look at that face. He's getting bigger by the day, dude. Get bigger by the Rich, are you Rich Piana or Flex? <laughs> First set, the power of the dad hat compels me. Right, bro. Let's go. <laughs> oh, let's go. Come on, man. Oh. <laughs> oh, one more. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I may be complaining, but I'm so wrecked from the deadlift session on Saturday that these squats are definitely harder than they should be. By the way, a pro tip, if any of you have a Canon DSLR and you're like, oh, I need some extra batteries and you go on Amazon and you buy just like generic batteries, don't buy them. They suck. Johnny did his last set to Boys to Men, right? Johnny listens to nothing but 90s music. That's all I need to do. <sighs> did I go, Kobe? Let's go! That's fast, let's go. Let's 
squats are wrecking me here. What's about to happen? Johnny's about to eat this donut while he squats 415. Crazy man, crazy. That's because right now Johnny can, Johnny is, me and Johnny are very similar on strength, but his squat rep power is better than mine, I think. He can move this weight a lot faster than I can. Come on, let's go. They said you didn't want it. Oh. Come on, guys, want it. Let's go. Let's get One it. more. Oh. <laughs> hey, man, you work for it, man. You work for it. <laughs> All right, so I'm taking an L tonight on my squats. On the fourth set, I couldn't even hit the first rep. Re-racked it. Well, we picked the weights back up, re-racked it, put the weight back on, tried it again, got one rep, and then I racked it, and I was just like, you know what, I'm done. My back is so wrecked from Saturday. Probably, I, I still need to work on my conventional form, but that's why I've always liked sumo, because I never get sore like this, and just my body is like, Max, chill. <laughs> you can't handle these heavy squats tonight, so um, it happens. Don't let it get in your head too much. Um, there's a difference between like sucking it up and like you know hitting all your reps and just being like you know what, relax for like a day or two. <laughs> Don't try to overstress your body. So I'm just gonna do some um, some like reverse hypers, glute ham extension stuff like that. I'm gonna take it easy for the rest of the night. So Johnny. Is crushing it. He's repping out these 415s like it's nothing. So he takes the W. I take the the L. You tired from all your? Were you guys drinking in there? Were they drinking on the toilet? Yes, they were out together. <laughs> Mouth is wet. You're gonna crash tonight, aren't you? Flex. What is this little like back leg thing you do? Is that comfortable? Do you think it's possible to have too much corgi on this channel? Nope. What do you think, Flex? Oh, <laughs> my best friend ever. So currently, or we're locked inside. I think this is like the mechanism isn't catching, so we can't get out. And this door doesn't even work. So, if, welcome to District Barbell, where if one <laughs> thing isn't messed up, it's another thing. If you fix one thing, another thing screws up. <laughs> Let us out! All right, so we open it with a key, but as you can tell. It's not one thing, it's another. That's what I just said. Come on! Stop following me, horse. Oh, let me get a fork. Oh, it's a spoon. All right, let me get a fork. Oh, it's a spoon. Let me get a fork. Oh, it's a spoon. Let me get a fork. Oh, it's a spoon. They only have spoons. Seriously? Yeah. They don't have any forks. But hold on, dude. I want to get a sick angle of us walking, dude. This is this is the cool thing to do. Alright, that's going to con con conclude this video. Thank you guys for watching and um, get ready for the next one. What will Crazy Max do in his day-to-day -day potato life? Hit the thumbs up button if you've gotten this far. By the way, um, if you guys are not following my Snapchat, you should, at Max Tuning. It's a lot of fun. Um, I talked about my review of The Girl on the Train. Uh, I just saw that last night and it was fantastical. I'm not even gonna make the jokes that I made on Snapchat. If you wanna see them, you already saw them. <laughs> see you guys later. Uh, okay, I'm so bad at goodbyes. I hate goodbyes.